Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel where we talk everything K-pop, K-drama, and K-food. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing video. That's right, we got it in the mail after Christmas, but still it got here. We got the Who This and Got That Boom album. This is my first unboxing video ever. I haven't even opened my Blackpink The Album yet. Hey everyone, you might see the albums open up behind me. That's because I just thought about this late and I wanted to give my subscribers something exciting. Once I reach a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna give those two albums behind me away to anyone in the world. I'll pick two lucky winners once I reach a thousand. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe down below. All right, and now back to the video. If you haven't voted for secret number yet, please do so on the app. I'll put the link down below. If you haven't gotten your albums yet, make sure to get yours. I got mine at G Market. I don't have much to compare with. The only other K-pop album that I've opened is Twice's More and More. I also did Blackpink's High Like That. I only got it for the poster, which I have in my room, and the album, I sold it. And lastly, I have the album from Blackpink, which I haven't opened yet. I don't know what I'm waiting for. I might just, just keep it here forever. One thing I like about K-pop albums is that they have a lot of stuff, and it's pretty inexpensive. It's only about $13 or $14, which is about the same as US pop albums. But for US pop albums, you don't get anything. Americans, you can learn something from the K-pop industry. Here we go, here we go. So with shipping, this came out to be about 50 bucks, I would say, so $25 each. And there's two songs on here. That's about $12.50 a song. If it's a CD, I don't know how I'm gonna play it. I don't even have a CD player anymore. In the back, we have Sodam and Dita, and Dita's asking, how are you? This looks like the scene from the Huda's MV. I, I don't recall the bathroom scene though, but it looks like it. And yes, it's CD. I won't be able to listen to this, but it's okay because we have YouTube Premium. You guys remember this? These are called CDs. Very colorful CD template though. Who this? Bam. Got a photo card. And the first one is Denise. It's got all her stats in Korean. I can't read anything, but I can read the English that says, Every day is a blessing and be grateful always. I will. I will be grateful because this year's ending. And if you're watching this in 2021, 2020 was not a great year. However, it was the year that I got back into K-pop and found out my secret number, so not all that bad. Alright, let's see if there's any other postcards in here. That might be the only one. Nope, there's more postcards. It's just stuck in between the pages. Next, we got one of my favorite members, Su Dom, the visual. She really looks like Jisoo here. And it's autographed with her signature. No dimples there, but you're forgiven. Ah, this is something I haven't seen in other albums. Stickers. We got the secret number passcode, a secret number, who this? Anyone know the story about these smiley faces? They're like smiley faces made out of letters, right? WWDD. Oh, I get it. WW, who, and D, this, with the question mark. Duh. And we also got the other single on the track, Holiday, and the group members' names, secret number. I thought they would give like a full postcard of all the members. Oh, that's it, that's all we got. So this, this is the three we got Denise. Anyone want to trade? Um, if anyone needs it, let me know. And the Sudam card, if that's missing in your collection, let me know. Yeah, one thing I like about the K-pop albums is the photo albums. They're like full of stuff and it gives credit to a lot of people. There's a lot of work that went into this and there's a lot of good photography as well. Here's the first picture in the photo album. And if there's any really cool ones that stand out to me, I will show it to you. Pretty much all of them. Jenny and a beret. We got Leia with the heart on the hair. I've seen that somewhere before. I don't know where, but pretty creative. We got Sudam and of course next we got the princess of K-pop, Dita Karan. Oh, I never saw this picture of Denise before. I really like it. This one I've seen on the cover of the uh, MV for uh, Who Dis. All right, let's keep going, folks. I would have been cool if they gave like a photo strip like this to the fans. Kind of like the photo booth style of all the members and the group one next time. Next, we got the lyrics. I have no idea what the lyrics mean or say because they're all in Korean. And I haven't listened to the lyric video yet, so I still don't know what Who Dis really means. All right, we got Jenny here. She got the newspaper outfit looking pretty good. Let's see what else. That really pops. Some black and white photos. Oh, this is Sudam. I thought this was Jenny for a second. Or Leia. It's Sudam. Okay, I got completely fooled. That was Leia. I thought that was Sudam. She looks so different there. Leia the chameleon. She could look like anyone. We got the track of a holiday and some pretty cool outfits I just took a sneak peek of. There's a huge obsession with K-pop and like school uniforms for some reason. They even have a show called knowing bros that all the k-pop artists go on there they're wearing like school uniforms that's the thing i don't know what it is but you know what we get good looking k-pop group in school uniform so if that's your thing that's your thing looking very chic here sudan detail looking like she rules this planet and denise looking fly 
I usually never liked Denise's outfits, but it was hard to mess up here. They put like Chanel there, so the, the agency went all out for this. She got the Chanel belt rocking it. All right, guys, that's it for the Who This single album. Let's go over to Got That Boom. I can tell this is the hair change album. Denise with the red and Leia with the blue. All right, let's see if anything drops out. Oh. And we got our first group photo card. It's actually a postcard. First thing that pops out is Leia's earrings. They're like, you know what? Let's give Leia earrings that she can stab people with, you know, little mini swords. And whoever did Sudam's eye makeup there, really good job. She looked like she's smiling even when you're with her eyes closed. Smiling with the eyes closed, the eyeliner there. It's like a shape of a smiley face. And this just looks like a fancy postcard. Pretty cool. Another CD that I will never play. Whoever wants it, let me know. If you have a CD player, there's gotta be more in here, right? The last one had three, this one had two. Oh, something came out. Oh, more stuff coming out. Whoa, what's this? I got a Jenny card. Okay, I'm horrible at this. This is Denise. I got another Denise card. At first I thought she was Jenny, because you know, Jenny does that little look. But then this, this is Denise, dang. I should have known by the red hair. Sorry, Denise. All right, I don't know what this is, but I got a Jenny pop-up. I think it's so that she could just sit at your desk all day. Or is it a phone holder? Hmm. And done. Uh, it's a Jenny pop-up, so you could have her at your desk the whole time. I'm just gonna put it right there. All right, are we gonna get anything falling out uh, for a third time? Yes, there's something else. They stepped it up for the second album with a lot of things coming out. All right, what is this? Who do you think it is? Oh, I thought it was her with her breakfast is served outfit, but it's Sudam. And uh, got that boom, kind of like the Spice Girls vibe looking outfit on. Now I got a Denise, Jeannie, and Sudam card. All I'm missing is Adita and Leia. I thought there'd be a lot more Dita stuff. All right, let's go for the last time. No luck. Ooh, went straight to the back and really liking this disco vibe looking outfit they got there. Bam. Very sparkly and disco-y to me. Of course, they got that Boom Arcade signature picture pose. Let's see if they did anything different. They had like wild colors here. Jenny, it's so crazy that Jenny is so shy, but I would have never thought just watching her um, on her MVs and live performances, you really have to watch the interviews to know that Ginny's shy. Cause how can you tell with those flaming hot pants, right? She got the flames coming out of it. Sue down with the mini bangs. Who started this whole bangs trend? Was it South Korea? And Dita with no bangs here, surprisingly. So if you want Dita with no bangs, it's in here. Let's see, we got the Denise. What else do we got? All right, I was meant to get this. Look at Denise. What is she saying there? Chu. Just missing the eye, but it's okay. That's the name of this channel, Chu Take Two. Thank you, Denise, for the shout out. I should just pencil in two take twos right there. Oh, loving this look. Did they perform in this outfit anywhere? I don't think so. If there is, put a link down below and I'll react to it. Whoa, is this a romper or a full body jumper by Ginny? These must be uploaded somewhere. I haven't seen these pictures before. Nice shoes, I like it. Nice shoes, Leia. Don't know where to buy those, but Pretty creative. You see, that's, that's Denise frustrated. See, she doesn't even know what to do for her hair. They really gotta do something with Denise's hair. I mean, she looks great, but I think they're just like black swanning her, making her um, into a beautiful swan slowly, progressively. You can't give it all away in one one go, you know? Keep the fans waiting and one thing. There it is. One, one dimple shows up in Sudam's two albums. Right there, right there. They need to showcase those. That's the money maker. Seems like a lot of Chanel stuff for the group. Denise is wearing it now. Dita's rocking the uh, sh Chanel earrings. Jenny from Blackpink is sponsored by Chanel, so maybe they're all gonna be in the same family. What else do we got here? Boys and girls. Some photos maybe you guys have never seen online yet. The disco themed, pretty good. Very photogenic. And I think there's personal messages. I can't read them, but I think they're personal messages to the fans. Someone translated down below. Got the lyrics, of course, and that's the album. Perfect. Can I put Genie up here? Is that gonna fall? Whoa, not gonna work. Very, very solid albums. They already got four songs out there. Now Vine Agency, you have to give them more songs, more content. I'm looking forward to it. All right, everyone, that was pretty fun. We got to unbox. We got to see what the pictures and the postcards were. And I'm a little bit sad at the same time. Why? 
because there's nothing else to unbox for a while. We have to wait probably until next year for another song to come out, and I'm looking forward to it. All right, guys, let me know if there are any contests or video sign events going on. I'd love to participate. Today's video is pretty quick, but I hope you guys enjoyed it as I did. Let me know what you want to see next. As always, if you haven't subscribed to like, please do so help me out a lot. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.